What's up guys, it's Half Night 7 RCT bringing you another video for you guys and yep, there's the next one up in the Emulation 2019 series and this time we're gonna be doing a little bit of PlayStation 3 emulation. Now, as amazing as, as that sounds, uh, PlayStation 3 emulation has for the longest time been um, not impossible to basically do any kind of uh, good um, solid emulation and stuff like that so of course now that we have that chance through the RPCS3 these naming conventions I'm telling you is something is something else but the point is even though I have tried to cover uh, with, the, with this series I try to cover basically the best uh, emulation the best um, uh, user interfaces, you know, ease of use, everything working as flawlessly as it can at the time. Even though this one is not still up to the standards of, let's say, what I covered already, like Samuel or or Dolphin or some of the others, it is getting there at such a quick pace. At least after a threshold, threshold being like after the first year, year and a half or two of you know just being talked about the team from rpcs3 whew, um, they're doing they're taking like huge steps huge strides into becoming or making their compatibility list of games as playable as you know as possible as playable as quickly as possible so that being said i, I would do kind of a disservice if i didn't include this one among uh, these amazing emulators because even though it doesn't have uh, uh, a comparable list of playable completely playable almost perfect games what it does offer playable at this point in time at least now you know May 2019 is really really good and those that are playable are really 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 nice and smooth and you're gonna see I'm gonna I'm gonna try and at least I can't cover all of them because, again, the problem with recording and being able to talk to you guys while I demonstrate the emulators is that I have to balance the act of processing. And some of these emulators have uh, some nice little um, layers in which they operate. Uh, most of them take advantage of APIs like, let's say, Vulkan, for example, that, you know, takes uh, some of the stress out of the CPU um, and you know gives those tasks to the GPU and this one unfortunately is pretty CPU intensive so even though it's using Vulkan and even though what it does manage to run it runs really nice I still need some of that power being that I only operate out of one computer uh, in order to record and, and capture for you guys and talk to you uh, about the emulator while I'm playing so that's why I also decided just to make the point out there that the reason why I come out with these videos and also later on I provide like let's say an extra uh, video is for that sole reason you know now I get to talk to you guys straight up show you through the menus and stuff like that maybe just a little bit of gameplay but then in the extras, I'll get to showcase or show off the gameplay while it's running without having to worry about, you know, voiceovers or cameras or stuff like that. So that being said, let's go right into this amazing emulator. Alright, so we start off here with uh, this version, the 00.68004 Alpha. As you can see, you have everything that you would want to. Uh, 
per configuration, everything from the CPU, uh, the different types of decoders and settings and stuff like that that you need to adjust in order for the games to run. I'm not going to take the time to go through all of them, but there are some that are kind of like obvious in terms of like resolution and what kind of render you would use, which to me is more important. For this emulator, it's recommended not to use uh, the DirectX or Direct 3, uh, 3D. It seems that it's uh, become obsolete given the uh, cool features of Vulkan and stuff like that. I guess that's the one to go to. You could use OpenGL in case uh, Vulkan doesn't, doesn't work. The rest of the stuff is not really needed, even though there are many options like <clears throat> for example I like to start my games in full screen I adjusted that once you save the settings uh, the ones at least that are kind of like more general global you can also configure each one of the games with their own kind of uh, configuration <coughs> excuse me that's uh, more because since PS3 is such a difficult platform to uh, emulate there are some games that are going to run just beautifully, and there are others that need other types of resources. And since the PS3 is multi-core uh, kind of um, architecture, there are a lot of games that you need to tweak very well in order to get like really good results. Now I'm loading Soul Calibur 5. Now bear in mind, of course, it's not going to be running like 100% gonna hear uh, some sound issues mostly um, but at least visually it looks pretty good considering you know this stage of uh, uh, emulation and stuff like that it looks like really nice you don't see like many artifacts and stuff like that of course you do have the issue of sound, which seems to be, it could be something uh, when it comes to syncing and stuff like that. Sometimes you can mess around with the settings and get it to work really nicely. But sometimes, uh, you know, it's just a matter of something not clicking, you know, something not just working and you have to usually wait it out. So I'm going to go through a, a training match really quick just to show you how it looks at this stage now, as you can see the, the movement is pretty good I didn't set on the frame counter that comes with the uh, with the emulator but it's more than obvious it's not running 60 frames and there is some uh, stuttering and some noise artifacting so we're gonna stop it there and see if we can work something out. Now we're still having a bit of issues with the sound so I guess that's just something that's unavoidable at this point even lowering the resolution at this point I don't think is gonna make much of a difference Yep, so let's go uh, stop this uh, Soul Calibur and let's go into Dragon Crown. Now this one, on the other hand, this one runs amazing. It's like night and day. Of course, you know, we're talking about 
to the art I'm gonna change here for lower SPU thread because it works a lot better with my i5 um, resolution I can leave it just as it is because it just runs perfectly at, at 1080p I can even take it higher but you know why risk it it, it just runs perfect so yeah not not many changes that needs to be done with this I'll boot it up with the custom configuration and we're ready to go <coughs> now this is of course vanillaware <laughs> and you know Anywhere that vanillaware is around, you're gonna see some beautiful hand drawn art. And this one is just absolutely stunning. And speaking of stunning, just absolutely beautiful art. Now, a lot of people criticize the art, of course, a lot of people love to criticize. I really don't give a crap. This is amazing art. It, may, it can't be commended enough. This is just absolutely beautiful. I don't care about proportions. This is fantasy. And that's about as much I'm going to talk about that. I don't care. It's just beautiful all around. And the other one that I'll probably try right after this is another beautiful Banana Wear game. And I'm just so happy. And even though that there's games that are not running very well on this, at least these games, these games are. They're running beautifully. So, let's do something real quick. Now, of course, guys, for extended plays on these games, the games that run really well, I will do ready, extra please. videos, uh, an extra video for this emulator and these games i'm just gonna go through real quick let's go the beginning of it the kind of like the tutorial phase just to show you guys that it's actually running while i'm recording you know and how well it's running let's go one more drink let's do this let's go I think I'm gonna go with the Amazon. Amazon looks cool as hell. See, you got like different messages to add, but no, I'm just gonna leave it like that. It's just a quick run, anyways. All right, Ruby, let's go for it, Ruby. All right. They start hacking and slashing. You seated yourselves and called for a stein of the finest mead. Your partner, Rani, is in a particularly good mood. Quaffing the bar's spirits buoyed your spirits. When things are lively, Rani will recount a certain tale. You were an adventurer, just starting out, and didn't know right from left. It was then that you first met. All right, guys, so for the rest of this, I'm just gonna stay quiet and let you guys see how beautiful this game looks and then later on I'll give you a, a bit more in-depth uh, more gameplay so yeah check it out
Shall I open that door for you? The rogue Rani inquired, after appearing from out of nowhere. He thought that it would be a simple matter to take advantage of your naivete and pocket some coin. Alright, so I think this should uh, cover enough of Dragon's Crown. Let's do the last one for today, guys. Uh, let's do Odin's, Odin's Fear. Now, this one is pretty cool because it has a kind of like a remastered version of the game. And also, it gives you the option to play a little bit more closer to how it played on PlayStation 2. <coughs> So yeah, it's beyond awesome and that soundtrack is also amazing. So you're going to go through the motions here of setting up, uh, giving you a little view of how this looks and plays and feels and sounds of course. And this is going to be it guys. I'm going to leave you guys with it for the rest of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed this so far and please leave comments if there's something else you want me to cover I didn't go more more into depth with games because basically there's there's not a lot to choose from from the ones that I have available to run so I just gotta wait it out and wait until my favorite games are playable but this is a very very good and complete emulator so I hope the information is helpful for any of you guys interested in uh, getting and running this emulator as well. So, check you guys later. I hope you enjoyed the rest of the video. Please like and subscribe. Hot Diet 7 out.
Zelda! <coughs> Yeah. <laughs> 